hello besties good morning good afternoon good evening from oliver j and i this will be your weekly read for november 14th through the 20th if you are seeing it during this time frame it definitely is for you if you are seeing this after then there are messages in here for you but we'll go ahead and get started here make sure you like subscribe comment for engagement you'll be entered to win a free personal i select three people the first of each month and you just have to comment on any video and be subscribed but we're gonna start with the lovely tarot per usual follow it up with larash's goddess queen just me 23 to stack and then we're gonna get some messages from your person what's on their mind this week you could be together or in separation just is up to you. Obviously, everyone's situation is different. Don't force it to make it fit. And let's go ahead and get started. So take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to go ahead and know for the week ahead, please? And thank you, spirit. Okay, woo. Well, we're starting out strong on 111 with the Emperor coming out. So, ones are all about new beginnings. This could be a fire sign coming in your life, possibly an Aries, but it's definitely a divine masculine energy. Energy is energy, don't attach a gender to it, but as someone who is in their mass presenting self. So they're thinking more of their head or their head bestie, but they want to come forward and offer you the stability, you know, protection could possibly be a relationship, but this is someone who is definitely practical um, and is going to give you kind of the ultimate world you can imagine if we'll see what else comes out but I'm thinking this is a love offer with the page of cuffs coming out this is the intuition card trusting your intuition following through on that accepting the offer of new love that potentially you could be daydreaming thinking about this person but I'm just telling you you definitely are manifesting this in with the magician coming out so the ones are once again are all about new beginnings and you literally have manifested your dream emperor in here that's going to give you that equal give and take that cup of love and two 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 on the clock but really this is after you had to go ahead and stand in your power and know your truth so we have the queen of swords coming out libra energy or, or king of swords my bad, not queen of swords, but I think this is your energy, divine feminine, if you resonate with the feminine energy. But with the four of coins, it was really honestly, or four of pentacles, learning that you were holding on to people, places, and things too much. You were trying to control the who, what, when, where, why, right? And with the king of swords coming out, I mean, Libras are all about balance. And so this is really detaching standing in your power and really taking a step back and realizing what you want with the hangman coming out. And so it's making balanced judgments and no longer feeling trapped or repeating the same cycle because we have the world coming out. So the world is your oyster and you are the pearl. So lucky number 21, the world is all about, you know, closing of a cycle, completion, success, fulfillment, feeling like you belong. So I think it's, you know, maybe you healed some triggers in a relationship from the previous relationship or some old baggage you know mommy daddy issues anything like that because we have the hierophant coming out with the lover's card um so literally oh don't we also have we don't have the two but we literally have one four five six so the numbers on the cards are about progression here but this is offering you, you know that commitment that stability with the hierophant coming out while we're talking about love is really you know that conventional that commitment that potential to lead into marriage especially with the lover's card this is all about obviously making a major choice in your love life and proceeding forward um and offering that potential relationship if you are single that could lead to marriage longevity stability but you're gonna have those shared values and ideals here and we have the ace of pentacles so together you guys are going to be prosperous one of you could be a earth sign as well with all the pentacles coming out so that is capricorn virgo taurus but there's a financial new beginning so i think you were focusing on your own abundance your own manifestations outside of love and that's what pushed this forward it's kind of like when you take your mind off of it and you're not looking for love that's when love comes in and it's four for four on the clock as soon as i say that but we have literally the generosity card at the bottom of the deck so the six of pentacles is all about you know giving and receiving once again you see that there's balancing of the scales a lot of libra energy 
But, you know, having that prosperity, standing in your power, knowing your worth, giving and receiving equally, because there's literally this king of pentacles. So we've had three out of the four kings so far, maybe, or maybe just two, but it might be two. Oh, and then we have the emperor. But this is someone who is definitely well-grounded, stable, knows exactly what they want, um, is really focused on their business and developing where things can go, but they offer you that security, that stability, and you know, it's someone who's not a risk taker but wants to go ahead and build an empire. You might want to build an empire with someone, but splitting the deck, yes, we have the chariots. So, I mean, we're counting up in numbers four, five, six, seven now, but the chariot, it's all about once again, it's kind of that balance. You have obviously the two right here and writing, keeping things very symmetrical, but it's victory, overcoming obstacles and moving forward um, and having that self-discipline and that control to realize you are in control of your emotions, your reactions and where you want to take things. No one else can control you, but you're bringing in this ace of cups. So this is a new beginning in love, potentially a celebration. I mean, we've had a few fertility cards come out here, but with that, you're moving forward into this energy of three of cups. So there's a lot of celebrations, getting together, happy times. So if you have been depressed and focused on other things and feeling like things are never going to get better, when is it my turn? When is it my turn? You are the star. So you're finally getting this recognition you deserve and really standing in your power, getting this new beginning, having hope that love is coming. And now it's that freedom, right? And so there's a lot of cups you can even see pouring water into the lake here and really realizing that your positivity and your faith and your ideal of not settling for anything that's below you and that is toxic is now working out in your favor. But let's go ahead and jump to LaRosh's deck and see what else is coming out here for um, lovely the 14th through the 20th. Please and thank you, Spirit. What's coming our way? Did I not say abundance earlier? So health, wealth, prosperity, love, gratitude, everything you want and more. Abundance is just more to me than financial. And it's really accepting all those positive outcomes and standing in your power, realizing what you're worth and no longer settling for that bullshit, right? With the reaper. So you had to walk away from people, places and things that no longer served you, even if it was fucking hard. You are willing to walk to the door, take the trash out, put it on the curb and keep moving forward. And that includes like, you know, keeping your shit close to you. It's kind of like Meg the Stallion, hose mine never like me and I'm fine with it. You know, it's one of those things where you're standing in your power and you're willing to keep your relationship on the low, not like you're hiding it, but you just don't need to express to everyone all your personal business all the time. I think you also closed out that karmic cycle because we have the bring the tea. So maybe you used to be a lot more gossipy or tell, tell, tell um, to people about every certain detail of your life. And now you're moving past that and it's allowing this passionate connection to come forward. A lot of fire sign energy. So Aries, Leo, Sag, but this person's trying to understand why they have such deep feelings for you and why why do they feel this certain way here and they're trying to figure out too many cards um why is this like nothing else i've ever experienced in my life and they think about you sexually constantly with the let's get naughty so you little freak freak role play handcuffs whips paddles chains and I'm just saying, you're going to have a spunky time. You're going to get lit. You're going to have your best life because you were meant to shine. So don't hide who you are. Unique is better. Shine bright, even if it hurts their eyes. And really stand in your power and realize your worth. You know you're undescribable. You know what you have to offer. And you're going to get receipts on this. So they could be calling you. They could be texting you. They could be seeing what you are up to and with whom. It's kind of that energy of, um, you know... I'm not like a possessive toxic, but like, I want you to myself. It's a Ariana Grande boyfriend song with Social House. Like, that's the energy it's giving. But I'm telling you, they've been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities that you're the one. So life partner union, you come together. It's that longevity. It's that stability. It's that passion. And yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the twin reunion. So someone who sacrificed themselves for you. Possibly that soulmate connection that was willing to put in that equal give and take. 
that, you know, might come through after a false twin flame journey or you realize you don't want to be with your twin flame anymore. But this person is definitely your secret admirer. So they've been watching you. Will you be mine? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. And I'm just letting you know that throat shocker, they're going to come forward and express this really quickly and tell you exactly how they feel. 10, 10 on the clock, as I say that completion of cycles. But you're going to have the free will if you want to come forward, splitting the deck and decide, do you want to be with this person? Seems like they want to offer you the world with the heart chakra coming out. Just be knowing and understanding that you are worthy of this love. And honestly, just realizing like you deserve more than what you've been given to in the past. And I think this is, you know, being tapped in. You're very connected to source. You're very intuitive. Trust your intuition and get that guidance because you know you are a whole entire vibe. You know you have a lot to offer. You know that you're going to be okay with or without anyone in your life. But this person's going to come forward and fight for you. So King or Queen of Wands, once again, Aries, Leo, Sag, that Emperor energy or just a very passionate connection. But they have a lot of passion for you and they're willing to come forward and chase after you. So they want to give you that relationship that you've never had, which we love to see out here. That equal give and take, that balance in 11-11 on the clock. You already are wishing for this and it's going to be great. But go ahead and think about a person's name and let's go ahead and get some messages from that person. You might go ahead and be in separation with this person. You maybe you've been ghosted. Maybe you are just recently started talking again. Um, but let's go ahead and think about that person. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. God energy source. What are some messages from the person that is on our mind? What are the messages from the specific person that they have not told us? Okay. So this person has definitely gone back and forth. So if there has been a break or a period of separation, that was because this person needed to figure out what they wanted. So we don't share the same values. So this person maybe didn't want to be in a relationship, didn't think that they were ready yet. Um, and it's one of those things where they didn't know why this happened. They don't know what what happened, but they just got scared of their feelings and were putting really that into the situation that you know, they got two in their head and instead of opening up their heart, but now I think they're coming back stable, offering you something. I'm leaning towards this as a newer connection, but definitely this person hid their feelings from you. They were not fully honest. They were not fully vulnerable, but this person did go ahead and trust you. You felt like home to this person. They felt like they could relate to you so much and trust you with their deepest, darkest secrets, right? Because they admire you. They recognize and respect the fuck out of you. Whether you've been through some shit or not, they would do it all over again. They would continue to do it time and time again. They would continue to choose you. But at the bottom of the deck, um, you know, maybe this person ghosted you. Maybe they weren't willing to commit. Something like that. They definitely did let you down. And, you know, this person's now... Um, in their head very much because they're realizing they have too much to lose if they don't come forward and express their feelings and they wonder how you feel and it's one of those things where they're just judging themselves too hard and trying to realize what they have to offer and they just see life differently now splitting the deck so they have had that change in morals and values and they miss being with you so they miss spending time with you talking to you telling you about their day and I'm just letting you know last but not least they want you back so I love this for us besties I hope you have a fabulous week and go ahead like subscribe comment I really truly appreciate it and you'll be entered to win that free personal. I hope you take care of yourself today and realize you are worthy of these blessings that are coming right around the corner, my love. And I hope you drink your water, take your vitamins and love on your pets for me because you deserve it and make some time for yourself. I know it's hard, but you deserve the world. I'm excited for this love in our life and it's a new beginning. Bye.